Today I have a very elegant looking mathematics book here with me and I knew this book would be elegant because um, I bought this book for a very strange reason which, which I'll tell you about later. This is a first undergraduate course in abstract algebra, second edition, Hillman and Alexanderson. Really nice solid cover, I just like the way the book is made. Um, just nice, look at that. Old school books. First undergraduate course in abstract algebra. This feels very well made. Abraham P. Hillman, University of New Mexico. Gerald L. Alexanderson, University of Santa Clara. Wadsworth Publishing Company, Inc., Belmont, California. So I bought this book because it was a Wadsworth book. Um, I have another book by Wadsworth Publishing, and it's very elegant. And I thought, oh, let me just see if I can find one out there at a reasonable price. So I, I didn't pay much for this book, and it looks very similar to the other book I have. Um, just really, really good quality. The other book I have, I've, I've, I've read it in its entirety. I read the whole book, and, um, and I've abused it, and it, it's, still in, it's still in one piece. Basic Properties of the Integers. That's the first chapter. So some induction, multiples and divisors, primes and Z, the division algorithm, common divisors, the Euclidean algorithm, common multiples. So these are things you could learn um, as a beginner, right? You could pick up this book and you can learn these things. It probably helps to have a background in writing proofs uh, before tackling even chapter one, but um, it's still fun to look. Groups, permutations on a finite domain, Multiplication of permutations, abstract groups, cycle notation, subgroups, additive notation. Interesting, they wait until then to introduce that. Groups of numbers. Then we have cyclic groups, even and odd permutations, groups of symmetries, the alternating group A sub n, cosets of a subgroup, quotient groups, solvable groups, the CELO theorems without proofs. Then sets and mappings. Okay, the Cayley's theorem. Nice topics here. Then we go to rings and fields. So ring homomorphisms and ideals, congruence and Z, Euler and Fermat theorems, integral domains, and then ordered integral domains, fields, matrices and quaternions. Cool. Polynomials. This is important stuff. Polynomial extensions of rings, over the community of ring, divisibility, ideals, all kinds of interesting topics here. Um, Euclidean constructions. I remember um, I had to teach myself um, most of this stuff uh, on my own because um, I needed to know it. And it wasn't too bad. I used the book by uh, Beachy and Blair to, to do that. It's a good, good book on abstract algebra. This one has the information though, so. And this one also has answers, hints, or solutions for most odd numbered problems. Let's go, let's go there first to see that because that's a big deal. Um, let's just take a look at that. So here's, here's some of the answers and hints already. You can see the book is really well made. Wow, just, just it's a good book, it's a good size. So you can see here it does have answers and hints for uh, most odd numbered problems. At least they're honest, um, <laughs> so that's not like, um, so you know they didn't say odd numbered and just like omit some, which is which I've seen books do. They'll say odd numbered, and then they're not all there. But yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So let's take a look at some of the mathematics uh, in this book. So what's this? Oh, here's some here's some little proofs. Here's an easy proof. Number six is pretty easy. Prove that if a b squared equals a squared b squared in a group g, then a b equals b a. Right, that's pretty cool. Prove that the subset one comma negative one of z is a group under the operation of multiplication of integers. Yeah, ah, that's pretty easy too. You can go through that one. It's only two elements, right? So you can go through all of the um, the properties uh, of, of what it means to be a group, right? Show there's an identity, uh, show that the multiplication is associative and show that every element has an inverse and, and, and there you go Then it's a group So yeah, it's pretty cool 
Show that the multiplication in the group EA of order two is completely determined when one knows that E is the identity. Mm. Interesting. And here we have some complex numbers, beta and gamma. And we have to show that that's a group of order three under multiplications of complex. That's pretty interesting, right? That's pretty cool. Going through it slowly. Explain why the multiplication for this group must be the table of example two with E, B, and C replaced by one beta and gamma respectively. Hmm. Interesting. And here we have a group of order four. Construct its multiplication table. Oh, that's a special group. Mm -hmm. That's a special group. That's a very special group. That group um, says in problem 12 of section 2.5, we shall see that such a group exists. Yeah, we should go there now. Um, this is the Klein 4 group. Okay, so problem 12 of section 2.5. Let's look at that. Problem 12 of section 2.5. Let's see what that is. So we have this group here, its elements are, it's a subgroup of S sub four, group of permutations. Right, cool, very, very cool. So yeah, interesting, interesting, interesting book. Groups, permutations on a finite domain. Problems. More problems here with uh, permutations. It's good. A good book. Um, I really wish it had more answers. This seems like a very good book for, um, you know, self study. It seems like a pretty solid book. I don't know how available this book is, by the way, because um, I got this book used. I don't know if there's other copies available or um, if it's still in print. I will, I will look after I make this video and I will see if I can find it and leave a link. Wow, look at all of these problems. There are so many problems here. Wow, this is great. It's like a problem gold mine. Look at this, all these exercises to do. Prove that the alternating group is its own commutator subgroup for n greater than or equal to five. Prove that a quotient group G mod n is abelian if and only if the commutator group, commutator subgroup in G is a subgroup in N. Wow. Cool. Yeah, these are fun little proofs. Abstract algebra is a, is a fun, fun subject. You can spend a lot of time on it. Uh, for beginners, I mean, I guess this is considered a beginner book. Um, I like the book by Sarah Chino. Um, it's, it's a really good book. For beginners, I think it's very easy. Uh, this one's pretty good though. It does go over, it starts with induction. You still need to know how to write like basic proofs though, I think before um, jumping into a book like this. But you can read the first chapter and you can understand most of it. You just might struggle with like proof structure and how to prove things. And then that's what you really need to go further. But yeah, pretty cool book. I just wanted to make a video to show everyone. Good luck.